and we're live <laughs> good afternoon youtube from a bright and sunny cheshire well actually no it's not it's completely windy completely overcast and it's freezing I've got my diagnostic connections hoodie on today it's absolutely baltic but I've got my shorts on so any day that's a short day is a good day as far as i'm concerned so, welcome to another video, courtesy of www.simplydiag.net If you're not a member, get yourself over there, get yourself signed up for a free membership We'd love to see you in there Right, so today, we've got a 2012 Renault Kangoo ZE electric vehicle JT, Ian, how are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's brilliant <laughs> Hey, up, Ryan? No sleep, how are you? <laughs> I'm awesome, I've just had a massive full English, full cooked English. If you follow me on Facebook, go and have a look at that food I've just eaten. Hey up Saran, Andy, how are you? <laughs> so, we've got this this Kangoo ZE, um, brought to me um, on the back of an RAC truck. Um, EV people who are uh, qualified to work on EVs are few and far between in this neck of the woods and the guy found me on the internet and how he found, found me I'm a member of Hevra Hybrid and Electric Vehicle Repair Association Hevra.org.uk If any working in EVs highly 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 recommend you getting a membership with them they get me um, so much EV work, so so many referrals, and they provide excellent technical support for anything EV. So JT level four, mate, level four. Um, so yeah, so he found he found me through uh, Hevra.org.uk, and uh, we had a look at it, and when it came, the 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 vehicle actually it was it was like this. That's little put it on. Yeah, we see everything. No, what there were no warnings on the dash or anything. We put it into ready mode now. You see, it's range of twenty miles, and yet we've got nearly a full battery. <laughs> yeah, Pete, he's a he's a great lad. Javier, how are you, mate? How's Cali? <laughs> so yeah, range of twenty miles. Well, that seems a bit a bit funny. So I put the I've got the granny charger with it. Put the granny charger on last night, and on a on a full charge it went to 21 miles which is a, a, a bit strange so a disclaimer before let's get you so you can see me face disclaimer before you work on any sort of a um, electric vehicle with high voltage components please 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 do not undertake any work on an electric vehicle on the high voltage side of things unless you are suitably equipped, trained and accredited. Yeah, I cannot straight th state this strongly enough. There is a severe danger to life if you start messing about with high voltage components that you don't know how to work safely on and you're not equipped safely to work with. So please do not touch the high voltage components on your vehicle um, unless you're suitably trained and equipped and if you're not Please consider getting yourself trained and equipped. Thank you. Disclaimer. Disclaimer done. Chris, how are you, mate? <laughs> yeah. So, I did the turn it. Yeah, I turned it off. The key out. The old days course it taught me not to touch EVs. <laughs> oh, I did a week of it. It's brilliant. This is this is under the bonnet of it. You can see. No, no moving parts. Lots of lots of bright orange danger. Do not touch signs. Yeah, and they're there. They're there for a reason. Okay, so it's actually quite a nice little van. So, like I said, we went in and there was no um, no warning signs or anything like that. Um, the RAC guy had been unable to replicate the fault. Yeah, Elliot from Elliot from Promoto is a yeah, he's a good lad. On the dash, nothing like that. So I did an initial code scan of it. So let let me show you. I did I did an initial scan with Autologic yesterday, uh, but I had a bit of an issue trying to print the 
um, print the report off I don't know I think it's just user error that so I put I stuck my arty pad on it this morning this is the this is the top line arty pad from diagnosticconnections.co.uk and I did a full global search you can see there's a, a million codes in here the ABS ones are probably from the from the recovery we've got instrument cluster problems battery and then we get into EVC and that's the big one there DF044 insulation that says that there's a high voltage leak somewhere in the in the circuit okay and you can see there's all sorts of codes remote performance can communication interlocks faults overheating inverter module faults yeah but luckily the airbags work <laughs> so anyway that was that was that was that was the full scan before I started on it and then if we go back now what I did I cleared all the I cleared all the DTCs I cleared all the DTCs and there was nothing in it so I took it for a short test drive down the road and literally the first time I pressed the brakes to do, uh, and it started regenerative uh, charging the warning light came on the dash and it said charging impossible and it came up with that DF044 insulation active fault okay that to me says stop refer to a specialist um, literally refer to somebody who knows what they're doing so then with it being a Saturday morning I'm in a dilemma I can't call uh, autologic support for any any guidance for some reason my uh, my Renault dialogist uh, my online login stopped working nothing I can do that about today so I then went on to all data having a look on all data um, the information I needed wasn't on there so I've sent an info request off to them obviously Saturday so so they're not open so I won't get any information back till Monday from them so I'm stuck I've got no information about you know wiring diagrams where the safety plug is um, where are the test points that I need to test at and, and stuff like that so being a member of Hevra I drop a quick message to Pete um, even though it is Saturday and uh, Hevra one of our partners one of our Stronger Together partners on the Simply Diag network and he got back to me literally within 10 minutes so this is this is Hevra's, Hevra's website so it's hevra.org.uk and that's that's the home screen okay if you go on there you can literally let me just pull that door to, to get rid of that glare right so we go on there you can find it find a, an EV garage near to you um, if you're an EV repairer you can actually you can actually join there's contacts there's everything there and literally within within five ten minutes I've got a Hevra test plan for DF044 insulation error okay I've got wiring diagrams all the information I need locations all that sort of stuff literally within 10 minutes so what we're going to do now we're going to get, get all the all the safety signs out get the kit get the catch pole out and all that get the class zeros out these are my class zero gloves for uh, for doing high voltage testing so i'll get my class zeros out go through all my safety checks with that Get me mega tester out. And then we're going to start and do some insurance. So that's what I've got going on this afternoon after eating all that bacon. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to go, um, go live with it or what, because what I really don't want to do. People who aren't qualified to work on EVs. But what I might do is when I've made the vehicle safe um, and I've stripped it down and that I might just show you the basics of doing an insulation test. 
but uh, yeah so so yeah so that's what I'm up to this afternoon so we're going to be checking let me show you so we're going to be taking we're going to be taking the um, the safety plug out uh, letting it letting the system power down low voltage battery off then we're going to uh, get to the connections unearth the unearth the casings do our zero voltage checks to make sure the system's safe to work on and then we're going to do some insulation checks on the motor pack and stuff like that and see if we can't find where this insulation leak is so yeah for anybody for anybody that's interested in getting uh, ev qualified the simply diag network offers its members a route to imi level 3 accreditation uh, with online prayer learning with um, our virtual academy in conjunction with our virtual academy after that so we can get you to uh, to level three and if like me level three is not enough when you want to go the whole hog and do level four then i highly 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 recommend the tech topics training techtopics.co.uk james dillon um, I did my level four with him. I did his EV week. It was absolutely fantastic. Makes your head hot. Really, really fun week. So we've got two routes. Two routes for you. You can either get to uh, level four with Tech Topics, or level three, which is safe component replacement with with SDM with the Simply Diag network. So again, reiterate, do not undertake any work whatsoever on the high voltage system on an EV or a hybrid unless you are suitably qualified and equipped and trained. Thanks for watching guys and girls, you're awesome.